<laughs> Yo! Wat oh, is dat Yo, yo, yo! We are back. I bought a new chain and uh, a few sprockets, a few different sizes actually. I bought the, the stock 45 tooth rear sprocket and the 15 tooth front sprocket. And I also bought the 14 tooth front sprocket because I want to see how the bike will uh, accelerate with that and if I can ride it on the highway comfortably with that. And then of course the main part of the video, the license plate holder that I 3D printed. Today hopefully I won't lose it and then have to find it and then, you know, find out it's fucking absolutely destroyed. That's the plan. I will show you guys once I get to the same spot as last time and I'll show you what I made. See you there. But before I cut to the chase, the reason why I have to buy a new chain, it's absolutely fucking too long. It's like lengthened. <laughs> so this is kind of funny because I look like some kind of, I don't know how you else to say this, but perhaps um, mentally ill individual because my microphone did not pick up the SUV um, on the left side of me blasting some tunes and I was just kind of showing my enthusiasm like you know raising my fist jumping on the bike you know being all happy they, they were really enjoying that uh, anyway so yeah the microphone didn't pick it up I promise they were blasting some tunes yeah anyway What's the Okay, well fuck that fucking pothole man. Ah, oh, again it's loose. Man, this is so confusing to me. I don't know how well you guys can see this. But the fucking, how is this loose? I don't know if it was the, the, the protection underneath the bike that got hit because of the pothole or if this is fucking getting hit. Th I mean, this was already fucked from the day before and it looks okay. So I don't think this got hit. I mean, look at the amount of space between. Surely it didn't get hit. Why the fuck is this loose? Is the question. Look at that. Because this is a prototype, I didn't really make it strong, so it's actually, it's broken. I don't know how well you can see. Well, fuck. Oh, what do I do? Do I continue? I don't know what to do. I don't want to fucking go home. Look at the fucking weather. It's beautiful today. Well, we'll keep an eye on it, I suppose. We'll do that. Fuck, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I think the travel between the tire and the license plate is good. Like I took a video of me kind of like jumping on the fucking bike. I know it's not really realistic uh, representation of the roads, but I, I just don't know. I don't know how that license plate would be hit. I, I just cannot accept that. See, if, it, if it's only a matter of me putting some Loctite on that bitch, then no problem, I, I can do that. There is no way that a fully tightened bolt loosens in 10 minutes. Like, I just don't think that that's what happened. I think under normal circumstances, that, that just doesn't happen. I, yeah, I just don't really know what happened, to be honest. Like, even if the tire did come in contact with the plastic, even then, I, I just don't think the bolt would loosen. Okay, let's take a look. Like, I don't know how well you can see this. Obviously, you can see that this is loose. How it came loose? I just don't know. Like, that doesn't make sense. I don't know how well you can see, but... This, this piece... It's obviously broken, like cracked. Same on the other side. But that doesn't mean that this will get loosened. There are still the same amount of material here. You know what I mean? Like, oh my, I just don't know. Well, let's take a look. Let's try and hopefully tighten it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I do have the right size. Okay, it's getting tighter, so that's good. But see, I just don't think and a lock like Loctite would fix it because in 10 minutes it became so loose. Unless, imagine if I was absolutely mentally ill and I never tightened it. But I mean, I think I fucking did. So see, again, it's it's tight. I don't want to tighten it too much because the plastic will crack even more, but this is pretty good. So we'll check out this one too. But this one I know for a fact is tight, this other bolt here. This one is good now, but this one I know for a fact is good. I just don't understand what the fuck happened. How this, how this became loose. Yeah, I honestly have no idea. What I was thinking, well, obviously I can shorten the screws. I can shorten the bolts or actually instead of having it down here I could maybe just maybe get away with going in between you know what I mean so it's not a license plate holder is not gonna be underneath it's gonna be in between but I think I might need a custom indicator holder as well because I don't think I can squeeze the plastic between I'm just gonna take a video on my phone because I don't fucking know like if you guys can see this this uh, nylon lock nut so look at the plastic here. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it's it's broken. And this, this bit here too. I don't know how well you can see that in the dark, but it's absolutely broken. So I do think that the tire did hit this assembly. So maybe what I could do is have basically have a curve instead of, because this is all straight. So maybe it could like, you know what I mean, like curve up like this. Hopefully you can see that that's, maybe that's kind of what I need to do. Because obviously this is not working. This is getting hit somehow, which is fucking crazy to me. Like you don't understand how much space there is between these, the tire and the fucking assembly. Th that's crazy. But you see this is cracked also, which I was trying to show you guys. And then this, this was loose here, this bolt. And then this was loose here. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a bolt here. I think it might, I'll have to check on that. It shouldn't be loose. So yeah, that's the plan to make a curve. And hopefully like it, it makes sense then. Hopefully nothing gets fucking destroyed. Cause that's very disheartening, but this is why this is a prototype. It's okay if it gets destroyed. I just don't want my license plate to go missing. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm just thinking if I have an even bigger tire, and like knobby tire that I'm a little bit fucked because <laughs> then it's gonna be even bigger and it's going to be even easier for the the license plate holder to get destroyed by the tire you know what I mean but I think if I curve it like that if I can make that happen then I might be okay oh so I'm gonna have to think about that fuck's sake well anyways that's what's happening I guess oh fuck oh god see I think that's it for today. I definitely got the wheel up a lot more times. Yeah, this chain is fucking shit. So I think that's it. I would love to practice some clutch up wheelies as well. Although it's a bit spooky. <laughs> and I don't really like practicing these things out on the road. I really like that, that area because it's secluded. Nobody goes there. But it is all like off road. Well, getting a lot braver, more confident doing these things. So that's good. And you know, I had lots of fun trying it. I really want to learn it and, and be able to control all these things and you know hold an actual wheelie fucking going at speed not just you know getting the front wheel up for a bit. <laughs> it's not exactly a wheelie then. Yeah if I could find like a secluded road because even this fucking gravel road has some traffic I would be chilling but i don't know i'm a bit shy i don't really like doing practicing in front of people you know what i mean well i got to learn a bit more today about the license plate holder <laughs> yo that was the best one it's so easy when it's when i have grip holy shit <laughs> yo 
That was, that was actually it. Fuck, fuck man, once I learned to control all this. But you know what? Take small steps today was a very successful day. I gathered some data, well needed data actually. But when it comes to uh, the license plate holder, so I'll need to adjust that, make some changes. And then I also was practicing some fucking wheelies. So come on, man. And I hit a fucking nice one at the end as well. Like, obviously it wasn't for a long distance, but that was the highest one so far. The shit is only the beginning, boys. Oh my God, that was fucking epic. Jesus Christ. Anyway, well, that was a huge success. I can't wait to see what the new chain will be like in the sprocket. That's it, guys. If you like, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see next. Many, many more videos to come of this bike and the journey that I'm on. Subscribe and peace. Absolutely nobody waved. <laughs> I didn't wave either, but yeah, usually these guys don't really wave at us.